Welcome to another tutorial at Zines and Roger. This one is for a crochet Christmas bauble. You will need a few different colours of cotton double knit, a 3mm crochet hook and a 6cm bauble. I believe when it says 6cm it means the diameter. I bought that one at Sainsbury's the other day and last year I bought the same size at Wilco's so I'm pretty sure you can get them in lots of different shops. Um, the written pattern is on my blog and will be in my free patterns page so do pop over and have a look. The link will be in the description box below. The first thing you need to do is work a magic circle. If you don't want to do a magic circle then chain four and join the chain with a slip stitch and work into that circle. The uh, magic circle is um, really easy and becomes second nature once you've practiced it a few times. It's a bit finger and thumbs at first so you go in here and pull through the top one and then do a bit of a twiddle to to get it like that and then you can pull your chain a bit smaller so you can work into it easier. Chain one and then make one UK treble which is a US double crochet. Chain one. What you've made here is a petal shape for the first round we need six of those so I need to make five more and the other five are going to be slightly different because um, that one was just our starting one. So for the other ones it's working two treble crochets together. So you yarn over and work through the circle and then you go through two loops, yarn over and go back through the circle and finish off by yarning over and pulling through two, yarning over and pulling through three and that is a two um, two treble together stitch so we need six of those so I have six petals one two three four five six and I'm just going to pull the center to close it and then I can join the circle together by making a slip stitch in the top of the first petal and then fasten that off sorry fasten that off by pulling through the snipped end through the loop and pull that tight and that is round one. For the next round grab yourself a new colour and then pop a slip knot on into your yarn and pull that tight and join it to the right of this petal here. So you're just going to pop it in the gap between and then join it with a slip stitch. Chain two and make a UK treble in the same space. Um, we're going to increase for this round, so you're going to put two of these petals in each chain space. So chain one and then do another stitch together. So that's two trebles together, two US doubles together, like that, and then chain one. So that's the first space sorted. And then the next one is essentially the same, apart from you're not joining anymore, so you're just going two trebles together, chain one, two trebles together. And you'll notice that while I'm doing this, I'm also working over the ends as I go, because um, I don't want to have to sew those in afterwards. 
So you work all the way around in each chain space, there's six in total, doing those two doubles or trebles, depending on what terms you're using. Chain one, two trebles. And you'll notice I'm keeping my tension quite tight as well. So if you've got um, a loose tension, you might want to go down to a small hook size. And as I said, this is a three, so maybe a two and a half would be better suited, or a 2.75. So to finish off this round, you just want to join to the top of the first petal with a slip stitch, just pull that through and then fasten that off, fasten that off by pulling that yarn through, pulling tight. So that's round two done. Round three we're going to do some granny clusters. Um, with a new colour, so in the same way, you join the same way each time um, with a slip knot first and then slip stitching that into your into your work, that way you know it's not going to go anywhere. So again, I like to join just to the right of where I fastened off. And because this is um, granny clusters, I'm going to chain three. And then work two UK dub, UK trebles into the same space. And then three trebles in each chain space around, remembering to crochet over my ends so I don't have to sew them in. So this is gonna have three trebles in the next space and in all the other spaces as well and no chain between each cluster. So you just go around until you get back to the the beginning and then you chain you um, join to the top of the chain. I've now got 12 clusters on the third row and I'm just about to join to that top chain here with a slip stitch and I'll fasten that off and then we can join the fourth colour and the fourth round is going to be a row of UK half trebles so that's half doubles in using US terms so slip stitch same as before and then chain two on that first stitch. Pop that over to the side so we can crochet over it. And then the first one, it might be a little bit fiddly, but just pop it in that join there. And then half trebles all around. I've joined round four with a slip stitch to the top of the first chain two that was made at the beginning of the round. I've got my fifth colour and I'm going to join it in a slightly different way because I'm only going to work um, DCs so when I put it in instead of chain um, making a slip stitch I'm just going to sort of DC it on by pulling it through and going like that. And you can do that for other projects as well, you don't have to slip stitch it. If you want to do it like that you can. It only makes a small difference but it's marginally quicker. So it's just a question of making double crochets, US single crochets, all the way round. This is my second half. I've already got one half here and as you can see this one's curling in on itself so I'm just going to pop it pop it the right way and then you've got two halves. 
Because it's my second half, when I get to the end of this round, I'm not going to cut the yarn. I want to use the rest of the yarn to work the two halves together. So before I get there, it is just a question of A, DC, SC, or SC in each stitch around and then join with a slip stitch when, once you get back to the beginning. I've gone round with the UK DCs or US SCs and I've joined with a slip stitch to the first stitch. I've got two halves and I want to start stitching those together. So you just want to hold them right sides facing outwards, hold them together and then you want to just slip stitch through the two facing loops so you're not going through both loops of each stitch just the ones on the insides and then you slip stitch through and if you want you can sew these together that's fine but I quite like the look of the slip stitch so you just do that until probably just over halfway so you just keeping going round so in that inside loop there and that one next to it adjacent and then slip stitching and yeah do that not all the way round because you want to be able to fit your bauble in before you close it shut okay it's just over the halfway mark I've gone from here to here and I've got myself a gap where I can feed in the, the bauble um, you can probably work a few more stitches and still be able to get that guy in there but as you can see he's a slippery sucker and he doesn't want to be in there so whoops so Take some time and get him to stay put and uh, make sure they don't ping across the room because I've had that before as well. And then you just carry on with the slip stitches but you're working the ball ball into it. And um, yeah, it's, it can be a little bit fiddly. So your, your sort of your actions, your movements might be a bit sort of wide as you try and get it in there but the results are fabulous so I think it's worth just taking a bit of extra time to to work those stitches together and um, the more you do it the easier it gets so you just keep on doing that and if, if you're if I mean you know, there's plenty of there's plenty of moving room in here. You could afford to sort of have that work even a little bit tighter. But what you don't want is it to be all loose and um, baggy. And once this is done up, it will be just right. So I'm going to carry on doing that until I get to the top. See, almost there. I've got one more to do, and it does get a little bit more fiddly the closer you are to the finish but you can still get one last stitch squidged in there and then you can fasten off the yarn so make sure he gets tied down tight and then you want to sew in that end by Excuse me, this cotton doesn't like to be threaded on this needle. So just sort of pop it in a couple of times in and out either side of the hangy bit. Go around. If you if you notice that you're a little bit gappy, you can always use your needle and thread to to 
close that a bit more effectively. So yeah, that is, that's it. That is all you need to do. So you can snip that closed off a bean. And then you have yourself a crochet bauble. And you can mix and match your colours so that you've got lots. And of course you can use super Christmassy colours and glittery yarn is perfect. I just don't have any. Um, instead I've just got this, this cotton. However, if they all match and they go on your tree, they're still going to look amazing. So if you if you enjoyed that then do give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing that would be awesome thank you very much cheerio bye bye